Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rock's Garage. I'm your host, Dan, and on today's episode, we're gonna be installing part number SEAT-321 on an old style club car DS. Now, before we get started, let's take a look at everything that comes in the kit and the tools we're gonna need to perform the installation. So when you first open up your kit, you're gonna have your seat back and seat bottom cushions. And after that, you're gonna have your foot frame. And after that, you're gonna have your foot plate. And after your foot plate, you're gonna find your new front seat back brackets, your rear seat back brackets, and your vertical supports. And then finally, we have our two handrails, our horizontal support, our foot plate brackets, our seat bottom handle, and our box of hardware. And now that we've taken a look at everything that comes in the kit, let's take a look at the tools we're gonna need for the installation. First up, we have our cordless drill with a 25 64 drill bit. We have a small drill bit for drilling pilot holes. We have our socket wrench with a 10 millimeter, 7 16 half inch, 13 millimeter, and 11 16 sockets. And then we have a 10 millimeter, 7 16 half inch, 13 millimeter, and 11 16 open ended wrench. We have two Phillips head screwdrivers, one stubby, one normal length, and of course, some safety glasses. And now before we get started, we just want to go over a few safety precautions. Now, as always, before we get started, we just want to make sure that we set our parking brake, turn our cart off, and if you have an electric cart, we want to flip the tow run switch to the tow position. Once all that's done, we can go ahead and begin by removing the rear top struts, but first we want to make sure that we put some kind of prop rod underneath the top so it doesn't fall down on our head. Now that our top struts are removed, we can go ahead and remove our front seat back cushions. Now that our front seat back cushions are removed, and before we remove our sweater basket, we need to first remove our access panel. Once that access panel is off, we can get to all of the necessary bolts to remove that sweater basket. Now that our seat back brackets are removed, we can go ahead and remove and discard our rear bumper. Now that your cart is completely disassembled, we can go ahead and install our new seat back brackets. Now that your new seat back brackets are installed, it's time to install our vertical supports. But in order to do that, we also need to reinstall our rear bumper. So on your rear bumper, you're gonna reuse the two factory bolts on the outside of the bumper. And before we install those on the cart, we're gonna take one of the supplied washers and thread it on that bolt. And then when we go to put the bumper on, we're gonna put our vertical support on the frame and then thread the bolt through the vertical support, keeping the washer on top. Now that our vertical supports are installed and our bumper is reattached, we can go ahead and install our foot frame. And now that our flip frame is installed, we can go ahead and install our foot plate. So 
So now that our footplate is installed, our next step is to install our handrails and our horizontal support. So we're going to start first with the driver side handrail. We're going to install the front bolt on that first, and then that way we'll be able to prop up the horizontal support, and that'll make it easier to install. So when you're installing the second bolt on the top here, we need to make sure that we put our nylon spacer in between the two handrails to take up the gap that the actual flip deck has. And then once you have your three bolts on the handrail, you can go ahead and install your footplate bracket and the footplate bolts. So now that our handrails and our horizontal support are in place, we can go ahead and install our rear seat back cushion. But before we do that, we need to go ahead and install the brackets onto the cushion first. Let me show you how that's done. So when we're installing our rear seat back bracket, we want to make sure that the arch in the bracket faces the bottom of the cushion. We're going to set this right here on the cushion and then use the supplied hardware to secure it in place. Then once your brackets are installed on the seat cushion, you can go ahead and take that entire assembly and attach that to the horizontal support. So now that our seat back cushion is installed, we can go ahead and install our seat bottom cushion. So the install for these seat cushions is really pretty simple. All we need to do is set it on the flip deck and move it around until you feel it drop into place. Once it drops in, we can go ahead and lift the flip deck Give a good push on the seat cushion, and that'll lock it into place. Once that's locked in, we can go ahead and install our handle. Now that our seat bottom cushion is installed, our next step is to install our top struts. Now for our specific application, because we do have the old style DS top, we're going to be using part number TOP-0105. We're going to go ahead and clamp that to the horizontal support, and then we're going to drill those holes and mount everything in place. So when I'm placing my top strut, I want to make sure that I use the top of the flip frame to help align it with the horizontal support. And then we want to make sure before we clamp it in place that we are parallel with the vertical part of the horizontal support. And then once we have the top strut where we want it, we're going to go ahead and clamp it in place. And then once it's in place, we can go ahead, put our safety glasses on and drill our holes. And then before we drill that second hole, we just want to realign everything. Make sure everything's clamped nice and tight. And then we can go ahead and drill that second hole. So again, we are going to tighten this bolt fully down while everything's clamped in place, just so everything stays aligned. Once that bolt's in place, we can go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side of the card. And now that our top struts are attached to the seat kit, we can go ahead and attach them to the top itself. Once our top struts are fully installed, we can go ahead and reinstall our front seat back cushions. With your front seat back cushions installed, we can go back through the entire kit and tighten everything down.
And then once everything's tightened down, that's going to do it for the install on part number SEAT-321 on our old style Club Car DS. Thanks for watching this episode of Rock's Garage. Stay safe and I'll see you guys next time.